this country. You are the future of this country. And you're out here standing proud, representing the students of GQIT. We're here, so Peter Fitzpatrick inside the office there does hear what students have to say. We've, for too many years we've seen increases in the student contribution charge and, and cuts to the maintenance grants. This is going to lead to no zero access to many students in this area being able to get into DQIT and further and better themselves. We're calling on Peter Fitzpatrick, who's one of the lawmakers, that you guys here elected into government to hear what students have to say. You guys are the future of this country. You guys will get this country back out of the, the lower depths it's in at the moment. You will lead this country through recovery. We're making sure that Peter Fitzpatrick hears your voices. No ifs, no buts. No education cuts. No ifs, no buts. Give Peter a few minutes to have a rebuttal, I guess, to a few different issues that we've highlighted to Peter in the number of weeks when he has met with us in the past. Listen, honestly, I come out here with a long speech. I'm not going to use this speech at all, right? I met David. I met. I, I met David. I, sorry, listen. Please, please, please. I met. I met. I met. I met, I met David last week, and I also met Brenda there last week, right? I also met the the, the student junior violin there last coach up in Dublin, right? I have to be honest with you, right? I think people in Ireland are entitled to a free education, right? I have no problem with that at all, and I will do my best to, 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 to show. I'll do my best to try to these cuts that 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 I'm saying. Listen, I'm only one person at the moment, right? Well, I will do like, the DTIT in the dock has five thousand students, right? And I, 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 I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. Let him speak. Let him speak. I I treat, I treat kids at home myself, right? You treat them all ages, don't And I think it's very very important for you to get an education, right? But listen, talking, uh, and, and one thing, this is a very peaceful demonstration. And listen, but first of all, you should be commended the way you come down here today, right? And honestly, and listen, I would do, I would leave no stone unturned. I would try my best to help to get the, the, these fees cut back. David, I've written a letter here to Rory Quinn here at the moment. David's given me three main issues there last week, right? The first issue was the, stu was the students' fees, right? And uh, at the moment, they're 2,250 euros, and the government's trying to increase them 250, 2,500. I, and this will prevent middle class people getting an education. I, the second one them is, is fears of cutting the maintenance grants for students. This will help families that have limited means. And then the third one then is the student assistance fund being cut. This is given to the most vulnerable students being excluded from the fund access on their parents' income. I, I personally wrote a letter to Rory Quinn last Thursday. I sent him an email and I will meet in Rory Quinn tomorrow, right? I will do, listen, I'm, I'm not one of these TDs and make promises. I will do my best to get these cut done, cut done at the moment. And I will do my best to try to get everybody in Ireland a free education, right? Listen, the country at the moment is bankrupt there at the moment. I'm not going to use that as an excuse, right? And I do, I, I keep emphasizing, you are entitled to a free education, right? And I won't, I won't be thinking at it. Well, and I, and I will do my, listen, listen, I'm only a TD for the last, sorry, I'm only, I'm only a TD for the last 18 months. And I will give it to people in the DKIT and the surrounding areas my commitment that I will do my best. And that, that, I, I can't do any more than that there. And I have no part in meeting every one of you individual students one by one. My office is open here any day of the week here at the moment, right? And I keep emphasizing it. Students are entitled to an education, and that's the most important thing at the moment. And listen, thanks very much for listening. That's what I said. Hi, lads, how are you going? Just, uh, Peter came out there and said he's only one TD, right? This is going right across Ireland. This is the fourth protest out of 14. We were in Cork and Jerry Buttermer came to his door like Peter Fitzpatrick did. Then we were in Sligo and John Perry shut his office down on the day that the St. Angela's and IT Sligo students came out. Then we were in Galway last week and we marched to Derek Nolan's office. And then today, while you're here in Dundalk, we have students in Dunleary marching outside Eamon Gilmore's office. And we've got students back outside John Perry's office. And they're looking to sleep outside his office until they meet with him. So this is going right across the country. We've got targeted TDs in every university or IOT, county or city. We are putting the pressure up and we're getting somewhere. You're to go home today or even in college today and you're to email him or ring his office and have a meeting with him. There's about 150 of you here. Make sure he's offered to meet you all. Make sure he meets you all. Tell him what's going on in your life. Tell him what you need. Here's constituents. Dundalk students are the life and soul of Dundalk from September to May. And don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. So we've got a huge website. It's um, usi.ie forward slash stand up. Make sure you go onto that. Join the campaign. And make sure you get, if there's people not here today, you have to make sure that they get on board. So keep it up, lads. We have until December 5th. And the pressure, it's up.
tea. You have to keep it going for the dog, okay? Thank you. Uh, first of all, I, I think it's very good for the uh, for the DTIT and the dog to come down and demonstrate outside uh, the local TD's office. Uh, they believe that uh, that the, the increase in student fee is not right, uh, and they're entitled to express their, their opinion. And me, as the local government the TD, uh, uh, met met the met the, uh, the US idea last week. I met the president of the student union and the dog. Uh, uh, they were banning there last week as well, and they, 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 and in fairness, they, 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 they asked me three things. First of all, the student fees, that increasing the stu student fees contribution from 2,250 euros to 2,500 uh, euros would stop the middle class people from attending college. The second thing they were about was the fee of cuts in the maintenance grant to students, and these grants are there to help uh, uh, families that have limited means. Then the third thing then was, uh, was the student assistance fund being cut. This is this is this is given to the most vulnerable students being excluded from the funds. So basically, the, that's the three things I want to ask you about. And the, the thing is, the most important thing was they want to make sure that the Minister of Education, Murray Quinn, explored all avenues that these cuts had to be implemented. And as my job as a TD, I I I would take their concerns and I would be talking to Murray Quinn tomorrow. And in the meantime, I I've, I've written to Murray Quinn, I have emailed Murray Quinn, and everything else. Like, I'm just I'm just uh, a local uh, TD backbencher. Uh, I will do my best to help. As I said earlier on, I think everything tied to free education. But just the way that things are at the moment, the country is bankrupt. The, the health system at the moment is... Uh, we're, 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 listen, we're just trying to help everybody. We came into this government 18 months ago, and uh, I'll be honest with you, and, uh, I think we've done a lot of work over the last 18 months, and all, all we're trying to do is give people a fair pack of it. That's the main thing.